Guys, I, I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it. So, hello, <laughs> welcome to the vlog. My name is Nika, I'm a 29 year old yoga instructor, graduate student, United Nations intern, literally I do the most, but this is my year of doing nothing. So, I figured for this vlog I will change it up and we can just do a weekend in the life of a yoga instructor because it's Super Bowl Sunday and I close the studio on Sunday nights so I think the studio will be nice and empty for us to like play around and like have some fun in it. So today is actually Saturday and my apartment is a bit of a mess. I do want to film an updated apartment tour for you guys so I think we should spend the first like couple of minutes of this vlog just cleaning my apartment. I do think my tripod is crooked and I like I don't know what to do about it. I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah. Anyways, I do want to put on a face mask because I did not wash my face at all yesterday. I like wasn't feeling good. I did want to start the vlog on Friday, but I was just like, I can't do it. I need to truly rest because I honestly, I work out so much as like someone who's a fitness professional that I literally like will go weeks on weeks on weeks on end without taking a rest day to like truly just do nothing and so it all caught up with me yesterday and i'm just like not feeling my best but i think a clean apartment will help so we're gonna put on the beyonce album as always and spend that album just cleaning the apartment i do have some apartment projects that i want to do with you guys too thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here make sure you subscribe and yeah let's uh start the cleaning montage now I don't think this was made for people with like big lips in mind. <laughs>
Money bitches to the right. You can be both. Me in the middle, dance all night. <laughs> clean I actually really did like this mask like I would buy more of them they have like um a little netting on the back and it helps so it doesn't like fall off of your face while you're like running around and doing stuff oh you can really see it here let me see can you see that yeah so that was great I do have like a little home improvement project for us so if you watched my February plan with me I said that I'm committing to buying just like one small thing a week for my apartment so this week I got these little hooks so I can hang these baskets up that I've literally had for like two years. And ideally I really want to hang them above my couch. So I'm kind of nervous. I am not Bobina the Builder, but today we are going to try and we have pretty good time. I'm meeting a friend at two o'clock. It's 11.15 right now. So I definitely think we have enough time to hang these up. And yeah, let's uh, let's just get started. So I have to move the couch. Shock, we're gonna have to move my love, I'm sorry. Sorry, my cat was like standing there. I'm gonna have to move the couch so I can get behind there to hang the baskets. Okay. Whew. Honestly, I really didn't want to get like screw things to put them on but all of the like sticky ceiling hooks that I was finding people were like yeah I worked for three months and then my plants fell and I really don't want that to happen especially because it'll be over my couch and I just don't want dirt on the couch especially because it's kind of a light color if I still have the brown one ooh, if you're an old 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 subscriber you might remember the brown couch if I still have the brown couch, I don't think I would care that much, but I definitely don't want it on this light one. Okay, so I just opened the box and it comes with like all these screws and then just the two plain hooks. Right now, I'm gonna try to measure out where I want them, but I think I want them like in the corners of everything. Maybe a little bit more off the corners because the, oops. The baskets are kind of round and I don't want them like directly on the wall. Let me see, like this. Oh my God, I'm literally seeing dots because I flipped upside down and came back so fast. Okay, let's, let's do some, some measurements and some testing. <laughs> Oh 
Wait, I'm not even tall enough to put it on the ceiling. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask one of my neighbors if they have a ladder and then maybe we can try this project tomorrow because yeah, I can't really put something on the ceiling if I can't reach it. Great, great. <laughs> well, honestly, I'm just gonna leave it like that until we're able to get it together. I do want to get it done this weekend because I wanna get another like little small thing for next week. And it's not gonna help if I get like the little small things and then I don't actually implement them because then I'm just gonna have a bunch of clutter in my apartment. So yeah. There's that. I sent a text to the group chat. Jacques is like so excited. Oh. <laughs> Jacques is like so excited. He's like running around. He feels like it's a new playground just for him. <laughs> but hopefully we can hang that in the vlog later. I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast, some avocado toast. Guys, do you like, let me know in the comments below. I get like the worst financial anxiety. Like I have saved the money for this bag. The money for this bag is sitting in my account right now in cash. And yet still I'm kind of like, ooh, like, <laughs> I don't want to spend the money on this bag. Even though I like I've saved for this bag for like 10 months and I'm not taking out any debt for it. Like I'm literally just paying for it in cash. But every time I do this, I'm like, ugh. I don't know, I'm like, what if something happens and I need the money? And I'm just like, this is like, honestly, I've been teaching a yoga class this entire month about surrender, or I guess in January, hopefully tomorrow I'll teach a new class. But this is like the part where you're supposed to just surrender and trust to the universe and not think of money as scarce, but rather as abundant. And I'm literally sitting here like, scared to pull the trigger because I have this like scarcity mindset like oh no if I spend this money what if I need something but like I saved this money for this purpose I need to just buy the bag <laughs> just buy the bag buy the bag <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> and now I'm like okay well maybe I won't buy it directly from Gucci maybe I'll get it from like a reseller so it'll be a little bit cheaper but I'm like Okay, girl, it can be cheaper still. You still have the money for the bag. <laughs> ah! Please let me know in the comments below if any of you guys can relate because I do get like just the worst financial anxiety when it comes to buying myself, treating myself to like high ticket items. I feel like if this was for someone else, I'd be like, oh yeah, sure, like whatever. But for me, I'm like, do I really need a luxury bag? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Okay, so there's two bags that I'm looking at, and the second one is actually more expensive on the like recycle stores. So I feel like this is just a sign for me to just go. I'm gonna go visit Gucci today and just see in person what the bag like looks and feels like, even though the other one, ugh, I'm just gonna be upfront and honest so i'm looking at the gucci disco bag and the aphrodite small shoulder bag both are within like 200 dollars of each other so it doesn't really matter that much but for some reason the aphrodite bag resells for like 2400 and the disco bag sells for like 15 resells for like 1500 which is less than what it's worth versus the Aphrodite bag resells for more than what it's worth if you buy it from Gucci New. So I feel like that says I should just get the Aphrodite bag, but I'm just like, uh, spending that much money on myself. It's insane, but I deserve it and you deserve it too.
minutes and we're taking off. Three minutes and we are taking off. Wait for all the Love you all. So me and my friend Nicole just crushed it at Barry's. <laughs> now we're gonna go look at purses in person because hopefully then I can just go ahead and pull the trigger. So off to Chelsea to go to the Gucci store. We've made it to the Gucci store. It looks great on you. Thank you. And you can do it this way with just this chain. So many options. <laughs> that is a nice purse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I pulled the trigger. We're giving you the bag. <laughs> I did shower, but I feel like my hair is still kind of wet and stuff. I like washed my hair there. What song is it? Hungry Nicole. We did it. I cannot believe. This is actually my first time buying a luxury bag in the United States. My first bag I bought in Mexico because there's tax benefits when you buy them outside of the country. But wow, guys, I cannot believe we did this. Okay, you have to subscribe if you haven't already because we're gonna do the unboxing in a separate video. But I am just like, wow. I cannot believe I did it. This is truly just like surrendering to the universe, believing in abundance, and like just treating yourself because I saved the money for that bag. And now we bought the bag. Sorry, my camera died and it's gonna die again. I'm on my way now to my sister's comedy show. It starts at seven. It is 7.02, so we're running late. <laughs> I'm wearing just like this Beyonce t-shirt. Some little booties. I like honestly don't feel like going because I hate to leave my apartment, but it's Saturday. Let's just have fun, why not? And I'm gonna leave you guys here, my big camera, and I'll just vlog the rest of the night on my phone because I'm already running so late. I don't need to worry about how I'm gonna carry this camera too. So, love you, see you later. Okay, Tommy, 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 the amazing. Tommy or boss? Tommy who Tommy is? Cause there's a lot of Tommy. Why y'all stop acting dumb? You see him listen, he's in blackface. He is in blackface. No, Tommy married to a black woman. He would never No, 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 no. The picture is right here. I mean okay. our children, his children all black. They got cornrows and everything. God, Tommy is racist as fuck. You know what? I'm about to, I'm about to send this shit to the news and oh, be over with hey. that. Tommy can't be black. <laughs>
So you're not willing to call out racism because someone's throwing money your way? I mean, okay, I'll... okay. He had the high mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the prequel to Last Dragon. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, hey. What the fuck? I'm about to climb up the whole oh, place. Richard, just wait. Wait, 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 wait. Good afternoon. I am feeling pretty overwhelmed today, not gonna lie. I woke up this morning and wanted to just like focus on getting a YouTube video out. So I did that and then I had my birth worker doula training until two and now it is, I don't even, I don't even have my watch on. It is 2.35. Because this is a weekend and my life as a yoga teacher, I thought I would walk you guys through how I kind of plan my yoga classes, but I am feeling really overwhelmed. Like this is my year of doing nothing and I feel like I'm just doing way too much. I also think it's because like my coworkers from my Columbia job and my UN job have like emailed me over the weekend today. I don't know why, but I feel like that also makes me like kind of like anxious, even though like I don't think either of them expect me to reply today. I'm just like, ugh, now I'm already thinking about stuff that I have to do for next week. And yeah, I'm also really behind on my birth worker training modules, and I want to practice the piano, and yeah, I just feel a little overwhelmed. I'm also behind on editing YouTube videos, so. But anyway, I got 200 subscribers on YouTube today, or 100. 
900 subscribers on YouTube today, so that was really exciting. And let's just try to like shake off this funk. It's also the Super Bowl, so I think my classes are gonna be pretty empty. And maybe we can have like some nice B-roll footage of us in the studio, so that should be fun. I'm feeling like I need to tap into some abundance energy, so that is going to be the vibe for this month's classes. And yeah, like some heart opening, abundance. I'm like, what chakra space? I kind of want to do heart chakra. When I plan my classes, I like to start with like a theme, usually like a yoga theme. So like abundance is one. Um, last month we did surrender. And then I also want to do like a chakra center. And then I try to pick like a third thing, like a quote, something to share with my class. So let's just get started. not feeling great but now I'm in the studio and I feel so good I made the um, sequence that I'm doing tonight in like 10 minutes so we'll see how it goes we have a new playlist if you oh I hope this isn't like monetized hold on one second Okay, so I have a new playlist. I'll put it on the screen here if you wanna check it out. And then before, well, my classes haven't started yet and no one's here, so we do have the studio to ourselves. But catch you guys on the flip side because I gotta do, gotta do some stuff to prep for class. <laughs> Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, Carl. Oh, and this week's class, a key pose is dancer's pose, right? Then dancers are activating through your chest, your core, and your hips. So when I build my class, I like to make sure I'm opening up and warming up all of those areas before we get to the peak. So for our warm up, we did like a little this, a little bird dog, a little bind, because opening up, and it's like also the posture, and then more accessible. Format. So right away, their body is kind of priming to where we want to go. Then also, we did these, these, this. I didn't talk through all of that and I'm not necessarily sure how I'm gonna edit this, but I don't know. It's honestly kind of like my first or maybe second time having you guys in studio with me. So that's just what we did. I wanted to show you and uh, I don't know. I'll probably do like a voiceover or something, but yeah. Let's go home because I'm so tired and I'm so hungry. I'll see you guys back in my place.
today. <laughs> Yesterday it was not good. <laughs> I originally intended for this video to be like a weekend in my life but now we're at Monday. <laughs> I honestly kind of feel like Monday is the weekend because I don't have to go into the office or anything and normally I don't have much to do but and then I also want to film an apartment tour to date as well. I feel like that is a lot that we have on the agenda. Maybe a little bit too much, but let's see what we can uh, what we can get going. I also need to return the Pineapple Street book to the library, so I want to film a quick book review video for that too. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Let's do a little Trader Joe's haul. I did go a bit over budget, and I think it's because I did not eat breakfast this morning, so I was pretty hungry while I was shopping. The first thing I got, which I never ever had before, was the white truffle potato chips. I also normally don't get potato chips, but like I've just been so hungry, so those sounded good, so I got them. And then I also got mini peanut butter sandwiches. I used to get these all the time and I haven't gotten them in a while, but hungry, so I got them. I also got some bananas. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Mushrooms. Oatmeal. A can of tomatoes and two cans of tuna. Two oranges, three apples, an onion, beans, eggs, celery. This mix I've never tried before. It is called herb salad mix. I thought that sounded good, so why not? Trail mix. And then last but certainly not least, some sourdough bread, impossible ground beef. I want to make like a little pasta because I have some leftover sauce. I also got some wild caught salmon. I usually get the farm raised salmon, but I watched this documentary about how bad farm raising fish is, so we're gonna try wild caught. And then some vegetable goes up. I absolutely love these, they're so good. I just have them with like a little salad, rice, soy sauce, and the gozas, and they're so good. A bell pepper. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Bye! Bye.